Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. Today we're in Austin, Texas at the Bullock Texas State History Museum. This museum, I haven't been inside yet, but it is grand. It's grand. $10 parking. And let's go inside the museum and see what it is. This museum, is, it's dealt with just the state of Texas history. So as you walk in, you have all the flags of the nations and the tundra. And the store of the museum is off to the left. So we're going to go check in. So we just walked in and the first one of the first exhibits you'll see is a Spanish conquistador helmet. I don't know if that's real or not, but the engraving is really nice. You see Jesus on there and the muskets swords quite a small sword this is the entrance as you can see oh I'm going back out <laughs> so up here we're gonna start to see something that is probably the main focal point of the museum and this is the LaSalle ship that was recovered in 1995 and it is now on display here at the Bullock, Texas Museum. This was a French expedition ship and is recovered in 95. And, the, and with this came a lot of artifacts. Uh, I'm not sure this is one of the cannons. Looking for Laval in 1995, yes. This is one of the cannon that was recovered. Very nice, very ornate. Very thick, very thick uh, lumber. Looked like it was built built very well. I believe these are some uh, artifacts that were recovered from the ship from the French. And this and this would be the what the ship would look like. And right above the LaSalle ship is a US Army. I think that's a Texan. I'm not really sure. And up there at the very top, that was on top of the state capitol. And I remember it coming down in 1985 and it was sitting on the front lawn. They, they, they used a helicopter to lower it down. Uh, these are some artifacts that were retrieved from the ship. Cannonballs, glass beads, uh, knife scales, rings. Wow, a lot of rings. I guess they brought it to trade with the Indians. Axes. Pure plates. Uh, by the way, I, uh, we got in free because me being active in the military, um, they have what's called a Blue Star program and active duties and their members get in free. Indian Mexicans, pottery, and all these artifacts are from the Texas history, so I guess they're recovered here in Texas. They have a knife, a ch chanting of Indians. So this is a, a gate that would be at a mission. It's made out of mesquite wood. They don't know the date or anything yet, but that's, that's what that is. Many artifacts. 
the first part of the section is the French, and then it kind of evolves into the Spanish and other time periods. There is a Spanish vest armor. So this is an actual human skull uh, that was recovered from the ship, from the LaSalle ship. Uh, that's an, uh, there was two bodies that were in, uh, that looks like a shoe, other artifacts, just on side of the ship again. So this section over here, off to the side, it's like a special exhibit. It is to do with mental health. I've never seen such an exhibit. It's quite large. This is an, a better view of the ship. So this is a sculpture of, uh, looks like a young Sam Houston. This would be like George Washington for Texas. He was our first president. He fought in the battles, San Jacinto, and helped for us with our independence of Texas. We are now on the second floor, entering something that Not really sure what time period this is. From a jail in Mexico City. Statement of Athens was in prison to be granted land, oh, uh, land in Texas and settled the first 300 Anglo families. Yes, um, Austin made a deal with the Mexican government to bring the first families into Texas from the states from the United States. This over here is the come and take it cannon, or I don't know, I doubt if it's the actual one, but this is a representation of it, and this was in Galveston, Gonzalez, probably the first battle, if you want to call it, of the Texans against the Mexicans. And they challenged the Mexican government who had loaned this cannon out to the settlers for protection, uh, challenged them to come out and to take it from them. So this was like a mobile desk that was for David Burnett. Uh, he was an intermediate, intermediate president at the time, and he used this as his desk, and he had to keep one step ahead of the Mexicans while they were after them, the government, and that was a relic of it. I believe this is the Alamo. Oh, and there's a movie inside. Maybe we'll go watch it. But this statue was on top of the Texas State Capitol in 85. And I witnessed it being lowered to the ground. And I remember looking at it and saying how ugly it was. But the reason that the features are so pronounced was so that you could see it from the ground. But this sat on the, I remember it being on the Capitol lawn, lowered by a Chinook helicopter, I think, yeah, by the Texas National Guard or one of the, the Army units in Colleen came down and took it down. And I did, and I remember riding by it on my motorcycle on my way to work. 
So these are the actual pistols that were recovered from Santa Anta when he was captured in San Jacinto. These are the actual ones. Uh, 1830s, they were single shot 44 caliber pistols. These are the actual, these were an actual, uh, in Santa Ana's actual hands. We just got through watching a film, um, kind of a brief film on the history of the revolution, like from the start from to the beginning, a real condensed version, uh, supposedly from the, um, taken from um, Juan Seguin's uh, account. And there's a... Masonic ring from Joe Robinson, mid 1800s. So we're only on the second floor, and uh, so far, this is a very impressive museum. So I believe this is a cotton gin. This really revolution the cotton industry at the time and cut the manpower down. Lots of artifacts, lots and lots of artifacts. Chairs made by enslaved workers. So now we're in Galveston area and talking about the Civil War when we entered the Civil War era. And it's an exhibit here. Muskets and other artifacts. So this is an image of when they were erecting the uh, statue on top of the Capitol. And then here is the statue now. So looking down on the entrance, this is um, like a mural on the floor of the entrance, the story of Texas, born around the campfires of, of the past. Is that what it says? Uh, very pretty. So we're up on the third floor, I think is the final floor. And the exhibit's more modern. This is about, you know, uh, Houston is a big center for the space program. Technology, especially here in Austin, was a computer uh, mecca. I remember living here in the 80s when it was booming. Some sort of um, jetpack, I think, so you could do spacewalks. And a beautiful Mexican costumes. This section is celebrating the different music in Texan culture. Much different exam up here, more modern. There's the aircraft that we saw earlier. And the aircraft radio engine. I remember we had one of these one back when I was an AMP mechanic and those things used to leak oil like crazy. Vietnam War. Uni Vietnam era uniform. 
Looks like of a medical person, a second lieutenant. And somebody from the cavalry. I guess they donated their their artifacts here. Section is of uh, the oil and gas industry that is big here in Texas. We used to have a humble gas station in Kennedy where I grew up. It burned down though. And that is the bit of a oil fuel drill bit. And this is the top of the well after they take the tower down. I've seen these out and near the ranch. That's what's left after they take the big tower. And I think these are all the products that are made by oil. Yep, a lot of plastics. A Texas Highway Department motorcycle. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a Harley Davidson. Yes, Harley Davidson, Texas State Police, DPS is what we call them here, Department of Public Safety. More exhibit, uh, exhibits of that time. Well, that's it for the um, tour of the museum. It is quite interesting and I highly recommend it to anybody wishing to come down here. Thanks for watching. I'll check you out next time.